my name is Nancy Kelly and in the year 2000 at 34 years old I was raped the horror and the denial lasted a while until about 18 weeks I realized I was probably pregnant I worked at a hospital Johns Hopkins in, ba in Baltimore and I went for an ultrasound a doctor I knew who knew my situation did the ultrasound for me and confirmed twins she offered at that point a free hush hush and illegal abortion to end my pregnancy but she didn't know my whole story you see years before that when I was young and dumb and didn't know any better I'd had two abortions the first and nine weeks for a normal DNC one year later almost to the day at 18 weeks I had what was called a DNX or what's normally known as a partial birth abortion it has been 20 eight years and no one can tell me different that I heard my baby scream how could I heal that violence of rape with more violence I chose to keep my babies and raise them these people say that there are no resources we've heard of these resources and I'm going to reiterate some of them today on the local level I had churches and uh, Baptist associations helping me with furniture and housing and food and cars. We lived at Hannah Home in Shelby for homeless and abused women for two years for an entire program. And several years after my twins were born, I went through what is now known as Alabama abortion recovery. And I can tell you that today, I no longer suffer from post-abortive stress. I am forgiven and set free. There are all over the world abortion recovery services such as Project Rachel, Abortion Recovery International, and Option Line. All you have to do is Google it and you will find pages and pages and pages. It's not just the women that suffer. On a state level, of course, my delivery, my medical, my children's medical coverage for their entire lives has been covered. And as a result of post-abortive stress and post-traumatic stress disorder, I have been on disability for many years and Medicaid. There are levels of help for women at all places. But see, my twins, they are the best things that ever happened to me. I would have died over and over and over again if they weren't there for my reason to live. I'm going to reiterate what Ryan said. Senator Davis said that my children are the residue of a rapist. Now, I can assure you that is not true. My children have for all these weeks listen to this over and over and over again on social media and I'd like to read to you something that my daughter posted my twins are 18 years old and they graduated yesterday they have value my daughter said I feel for the thousands of kids who are product of rape and have physical or mental disabilities or or foster foster children because for the past 72 hours they have been subject to the media and everyone else saying that they don't have the right to exist but they do I didn't save them they saved me who who here had the choice of their conception they turned my night of horror into the blessing and they are the less than 1% who have been demonized and exploited I can tell you instead that they and we are part of a larger collective of courageous and compassionate advocates for life who believe in a radical notion that we all have equal and irrevocable worth regardless of where our lives began. Thank you.